What we know about uh, type 1 diabetes is that it's uh, the result of the destruction of the insulin secreting pancreatic beta cells uh, and we know that it's associated with uh, inflammation so the immune cells come into the pancreas to kill those cells and we know that those immune cells are recognizing something that is normal in the body so it's what's called an autoimmune disease. The key question is understanding the whole process of, of uh, the immune response. Uh, what is actually causing that immune response? What, why is it initiated? What is that immune response directed to in the, in the uh, cells which are secreting insulin which lead to that destruction? What we and many others have been doing is trying to understand that immune response so that we can develop treatments which very specifically stop the immune response which is causing disease, but uh, avoiding uh, the general blockade of immune responses which are very important for protecting us against foreign pathogens such as viruses, uh, bacteria and uh, parasites. So what we're particularly interested in is identifying individuals who are at risk for disease, so we have very sp specific markers for disease development so that we can uh, identify those individuals who are, are at high risk of developing disease sometime in the future and those, those treatments can then be applied to them to block the immune response before they develop the clinical symptoms of diabetes uh, and, and therefore prevent the disease occurring at all. Firstly I have to say thank you very much for the support. Uh, without uh, grant income then we wouldn't be able to do any of the experiments which are needed to understand the disease process and we've received uh, quite a lot of grant income from Diabetes UK since the 1990s to, which have really helped us improve our understanding of what is actually causing the disease and now is helping us to actually design new treatments which we hope will actually prevent the disease.